Hi, if you've been following along, we've been looking at a little thorny problem within Access when you're trying to create a linked form by using the button. So this is one of the series of the training videos about creating an Access database from scratch. So please see the other videos in the series uh, if you want to come up to this stage. So at this moment in time, I have a lovely form here. I've got a sub form and I've added a little button here and it should work. I should be able to click on this view, uh, the form view here. Let's have a look. I click on the order details here. It opens up. Yeah, that looks fine. Not a problem at all because I've got orders already in there. But if I then say, for instance, added a new customer, there we are, Fast Toys here. I want to then have a new order. So I click on orders. Oh, there's just errors, you know, order right, you know, it can't seem to open this up. The linked button thing doesn't seem to have done the job. So how do we get and sort that problem out? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to remove the code from this button here. So I'm just going to close down both of those forms and go to the orders form into design view. I'm just going to click on here and you can see at the top here is an embedded macro. Well, I want to get rid of that uh, macro, it's embedded macro there. So what I can do is I can click on this button here and at the top I can just delete that. I don't want an embedded macro. Say yes to save changes. And if you want to do, you can actually just backspace, get rid of all of that one there, that's fine. So what I want to do is going to have to type a little bit of VBA code in here. Now, don't worry. The vote code is quite straightforward and I will type it and I will give it to you as well uh, at the bottom. So please have a look at the text there. So what do I need to do by this? Well, there's two stages to this. The first is clicking on the button. Uh, one of the things to make note of is the name of the button. So this is called BTN order details or button order details. And the next one is the form you're going to open up. So if I open that up in design view, so here's the form here. And then uh, let's have a look here. That's it under the uh, event here. There's going to be an event here called on open. Here we go. And we just need a bit of code to catch what they call open arguments. So you don't need to go into the depths of open arguments if you just want this to work. OK, so what we're going to do here is let us do the button bit first. So I'm going to close down this form. I'm going to click on all the details. I'm going to click on event here. So make sure we're on the button and it's the event tab. So if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see it's this event tab here. Uh, and then we are going to look at uh, on click and on click. I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to go to the code builder. So the code builder is just opened up on my other window. So I'm just going to drag it across to this window so you can see that uh, this here. Let's just drag that. I'm just going to make it a little smaller as well. So it's just keeps me a bit sane here. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, it's just way too big. That's for necessary here. That's good. Let's move myself over here. Let's just move myself up here a little bit, make it a bit smaller. There we go. So here's my code builder window. And this into this code builder window, I will be typing the code in here. So the first thing notice is the button orders click. So when I click on this button, things is going to happen. So what do I want to happen? So the first thing I want to happen here, and I've got some code over here that I'm just going to use, which you're wondering why I'm looking on this side of the screen. OK, so the first thing we want is to open a form, basically. So I'm going to type in do and then CMD and try and keep the capitals the same with this. And it's open form and a space. So do command dot open form. That's good. Excellent. So next thing what we need to do here is we need to uh, give the form a name. So what's the name of the form that we want to open up? Well, we do that in quotation marks and the name of the form is form FRM order details. Let's close that off there and do a comma. So far, so good. Just going to make this a little wider so you can, wider so you can see this here. Here we go. Yeah, it's good. Excellent. So it's going to open there. So now I need to put in a condition in here. So I'm going to put where condition, uh, then a, set, a colon and an equal sign and the criteria. So the criteria in this case is going to be the names of the field that you need to link to. So one for the form that you're on. So in this case, it's order ID. OK, uh, so it's going to equal to. And then I'm using an ampersand and using me itself with an exclamation mark, open quote notation marks and using order ID and close off the square brackets there. That's good. All right, then. so far that is good. All right, so what we need to do now is decide what type of window this is going to be. So I'm going to type a, a, a comma 
and type the window mode. So it's window mode, and do a colon and then equals, and I'll do AC dialog. You can see it's uh, I have some code hints there that helps you out. Just press the tab key on the keyboard to fulfill that. You can type that in. So just take your time with this. So now it's the open arguments. What I'm going to pass from one form to the other. So it's open our arguments. I've got the colon equals me, and then it's order ID. So that's what I want to do that. That's good, brilliant. Okay, so far so good, that's excellent. So let me just have a quick, quick review of that. I'm just gonna click away there, just make sure I've got uh, my data is okay. So I'll make that a little wider so you can see that on the screen here. Again, this is all the code I will do and I will give you it at the, at the bottom. You might have to make a little bit of adjustments with the, the names here. So let's have a look. So it's do command open form. We've got form, order details, where condition, order ID is at the order ID. So we're just gonna make sure both of the fields are the same so we don't get confused from which form to which form. Okay, and then we're going to pass me order ID across to the new form. Okay, that's fantastic there, that's good. All right, so that's so far so good. So what we'll do is I'm gonna just close that window down. That's done. I need to now go to order details. So I'm gonna bring that up in design view here. I'm gonna to go to the form, just move myself out of the way a bit and find the on open. Uh, here we go. There we go, the on open event. So when this form opens, we want it to do a bit of code. Here we go. So when the, this form opens, we need to check to see if there are arguments in the open arguments. Basically, we need to set check that open arguments exist. So we're going to type in if the open arguments does not equal. So you can see it's the left angle bracket and the right angle bracket that we use for uh, those open arguments. The left angle bracket and the right angle bracket. If it doesn't equal blank, then I'm just going to put the end if at the end here. We'll go up and tab in. B, and then it's order ID dot default value is going to equal double quotation marks and me dot open args and double quotation marks there. So basically, when this form is opened here, uh, it's going to check to see if open arguments exist. If it's not blank and something's in there, then it's going to look for order ID uh, Well, in this field here. Okay, so it's going to set the default value of order ID in the, the order details table or the order details form with the value of whatever open, open arguments is. All right, then that's good. So let's just close that one down here. Let's close that one down here. Uh, let's save the form here. That's good. Say so yes to save both of them. Let's give this one a test here. So I'm just going to close down uh, all of the forms, these ones here. And I'm going to go back to the customer's form. I'm feeling brave here. So say, for instance, I've got Acme here as well. I can click on this here and it's opening up. And you can see order ID is being passed. If I go to the second order and click on order these here, I can see order ID is being passed. If I go to the next record at the bottom, so I'm on fast toys here. So I order ID four, I click on order details. Again, order ID is being passed. So further from this, you can go and you can hide that and make it look fancy. Please see other videos in the series of how to do this. I think I've gone on quite enough there. Uh, I'm going to put the code at the bottom, but you may need to adjust a little bit of the code to get this working. Uh, this is far from a fully comprehe comprehensive access of VBA course, and I haven't explained the reasons for the double quotation marks, the ampersand, uh, the square brackets, a lot of that. All you're doing, I know, is copy copying code to get something to work. So if you're interested in the course, then please see our website and book an access training course we do from beginners to advanced, many, many levels. Uh, so that we're able to cust you are able to customize your database to your requirements. Thank you so much for watching.